Mm. And we are back on the Morning Brew with friends. We got our friend Carlos and Sparrow. And you paint live. I yeah. love this. But, you know, we were talking during the break. And we just had a full time from TEDx. Did you know that Carlos gave a TED Talk? Yeah. I, like, yeah. I think it was a few months ago. A couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, not, not too long ago. Hey, what was um, it on? Uh, just writing workshops and writing programs in prisons and jails. So, um, like, basically the transformative power of poetry. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Can we s still find that online? Is yeah. It, does it exist somewhere? Uh, somewhere in, in the Google. In, 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 the the Google. in the Google boxes, type in Carlos and TED Talk, and it'll see pop what up. And then we get to see you with the Madonna mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That which was a weird experience. I that love was that. Kind of odd. I love that. Yeah. And so you, you're the good times liaison over at Tractor Brew, and you bring in all all kinds of fun stuff, and DJs and musicians, and artists. And artists. To paint live. Yeah. Because at Tractor, they're doing more than just live music. You get to actually. We have some of your work here, and this is some of the stuff you've actually painted live at Tractor. I love this. Yeah. Um, it's really great. Um, get your work out there. It's a really good experience to kind of be in the moment and do something in such a short period of time. Um, do you give yourself like a set 20 minutes, like I gotta get this painting done in 20 minutes or a um, half hour or something? Yeah, kind of. I just kind of start and do an outline and I have a process now. So it doesn't take me quite as long and I can kind of knock it out, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you, you figure it out like, you know, themes or ideas? Yeah. And, and then you're often doing it, I, I, you know, seen live painting a tractor yeah. and there's often a DJ or a band there too does that like just amp you up and it's yeah, like the right music definitely um, everybody's energy kind of makes your energy go up and makes you yeah. in the moment and like okay I'm here I'm doing this people are watching like music's going on it's right cool. that's cool yeah. do you remember when you painted this one the one on the left was painted live at tractor yeah um, do you remember who you were listening to when that one was being rocked out so I think there was a DJ that night that was for um it was called an art fight, so they give you a theme, and the theme was deep space. So I kind of incorporated planets, and I like to do the whole New Mexico kind of Zia and graffiti. I dig it. And this is, and this is, are you being the I'll drink to that that's coming up? Yeah, on Sunday. Um, usually I do it every month, once a month. It's it's, an, it's a thing you guys do once a month. It is. It's it's three years old. So. Is that, wow, it seems so, like it was just started the other day. 36 shows in 36 months. That's um, amazing. Yeah, Sunday at 4 o'clock at Tractor Wells Park. But um, always live artists, always poets, uh, comedians, and then just about anything else. We've had dancers and different things. But there's 24 artists, live artists or poets or musicians on Sunday. In this, in this Sunday, it's going to be... Folks like you, are you going to have an art fight with other people, or is it just painting and having a good time with it? Yeah, it's just painting, having a good time. Everybody has their own style, so it's really cool to walk around and see everybody's unique style, um, talk to everybody, kind of. How is this different? You know, I think most artists, you know, they sit in a solitary room and you lock yourself in your studio and you examine your own whatever in your own mind, right? Yes. You know, your own issues and then you, and, but how is this different when you get, when you set up to do something, it's as you're creating it, people are talking to you, as you're creating it, you're trying to be in the moment. Yeah. How is this different for you painting? I think, um, I think it's a little bit better because when you're at home and you're doing it by yourself, you don't really have a lot of motivation a lot of the time. Um, whereas when people are there, you're kind of like, okay, I want to not show off, but you know, show what you can do. And, right. um, you want to be, you want to bring your best out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and on the fly. And, yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit more like a, a competition than it is just making art. Yeah, and a lot of the time, it's really awesome because people will watch you from the beginning mm -hmm. and see your progression, and they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know it was going to be that in the end, and That's it's kind of cool. like a surprise. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. And this is something every every month. Every month, one Sunday a month. The last Sunday of the month. No, you know it pops around. Honestly, like it avoids holidays. It, it, it always tries to put like three or four weeks between itself, you know, yeah. so there's enough time to promote and otherwise. Uh, but yeah, you kind of just, there's a whole schedule though. The Sundays are set through the whole year. So I you can uh, find it on Instagram, Facebook, and otherwise. So I'll drink to that will be this Sunday, this Sunday at Tractor Brewing. We'll see some live art making. We'll drink some beer. We'll have a good time. You got live music. Poets, live music. It's I here. love it. We can find more at tractorbrewing.com, right? Yeah, no, www.getcloud.com. Get I always forget that you guys have the most clever brewery URL ever. 
We'll be back in a couple of seconds on Morning Brew with Friends, and we're going to do a quick wrap-up of everybody that's been on the show. we got a packed house. That's crazy. It's great. We're not going to fit around this table. No, we're not going to fit. We'll have to, like, <laughs> we'll, we'll get some bleachers in here and do it. <laughs>